This is Kyle Bauer reporting from the Mexican-American boundary just west of El Paso, Texas. I'm at the St. Teresa Import-Export Station. In the background, you'll see the Border Patrol car, and you'll see the gate of which all the cattle, horses, dairy cattle, breeding stock pass through in order to be imported or exported from Mexico to the United States or from the United States to Mexico. When the cattle come into the facility, they're fed and inspected for general health. And then the cattle go through final inspection with the USDA, and then it's off to the dipping vat, where each animal is totally immersed in a diluted solution of insecticide, which guarantees that no external parasites will accompany them across the border. The cattle will then drip for a time and be allowed to cross into the United States, where the buyers sort them based on the needs of their customers. But due to variation in size and quality and orders from the buyers, the buying and selling is not always finished at that point. Sometimes you'll have multiple buyers or different orders, and this buyer will sell to another and another, and before the animals leave the facility, leave the front gates of the facility, they'll have three or four owners. In the state of New Mexico, the New Mexico Livestock Board collects for the, the beef checkoff. Uh, Humberto Lucero is the deputy contractor here from the Livestock Board. Every time there's a change of ownership, there's a fee incurred. A dollar goes to the New Mexico, uh, or the Beef Council, New Mexico Beef Council. That being said, we generate lots of money for the beef checkoff. They... Uh, collect the dollar a head checkoff for every steer that comes through here. The Mexican uh, cattle rancher is the one that pays for that, for that beef checkoff. Actually, the beef checkoff, the Mexicans just see it as, as uh, another cost to doing business. That concludes the report from the Mexican border at the St. Teresa Import-Export Station. I hope you have a greater understanding of what it takes to cross livestock in and out of the United States from Mexico and a greater understanding of the commitment to the cattle industry that the Chihuahuan ranchers have and how much of a part that they are in the American beef industry. This is Kyle Bauer reporting from just west of El Paso, Texas.